nobody understands that kids need psychological help. Mm -hmm. So mostly it was like, back that time, mostly it was like bringing kids some food, some presents, and that's all. But Olena was one of the first people who was like shouting out on every corner saying that we need to give them exactly psychological help mm -hmm. because they are living next to the war and it's damaging their emotions, it's damaging their uh, mental health. Uh, we need to help this way. We got a lot of calls from teenagers um, uh, themselves, without parents. They call us and ask for psychological help uh, themselves. Mm -hmm. And most of the calls, you will be also surprised, it comes from abroad. When, because when kids live, uh, live, uh, left Ukraine with their parents, uh, parents think that they are okay now, they're abroad, they are in Poland, Germany, everything okay. But these kids were taken away from their, uh, from their father, from their friends, from their relatives and they feel bad, uh, they feel like abundant mm -hmm. uh, in absolutely different mentality country. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, a lot of them who call us has um, suicide thoughts. Uh, they harm themselves, yeah, yeah. They, they cut their hands or they do some damage to themselves because they feel helpless mm -hmm. and um, they feel angry that they can't help to their fathers, to their relatives, they can't be back. And it's good that they call us and asking for psychological help um, and because at least we, our psychologists can stabilize them and give some support and, and, and some help. We don't say that we are, you know, saving them. No, we are here just to give them shoulder, uh, just to give them support, to, um, to find themselves, to resist, uh, to survive in, uh, during this war. And there should be someone from adults also and from psychologists who can sit down and speak with children and explain everything's okay, it's not your guilty, it's not, uh, it's not you who we should blame, uh, but Russians, you know. We don't know how long this war will be. We don't know how long Russia will terrorize our country and our people. That's why what we can do is to l uh, learn how to survive and how to save our emotions and our brain and our mental health.